Hello everyone, in this video I'll show you how I created this battle scene with the Krautin 3D add-on. In the latest release of Krautin 3D you can set properties on your model. So first I set these properties as I will be needing them for my behavior rules. You can also set tags to animations, something that I will also be using in my behavior rules. During Populate, model variables are distributed amongst my agents, creating a variety of characters. Some strong, some less strong. After I have set and distributed my properties, I create the battle simulation with only agents. If I have the simulation that I want, I start to add the characters and animations. I'm using the playback overlay, a feature that was also added to the add-on. With the playback overlay, I can check my simulation using a higher frame rate than Blender's playback. In the note 3, I start with the Vikings marching to the battle. I use a state property which is set to true. So if this state property is true and you are a Viking, then walk for 200 frames. In the repeat note, you see a higher value, that is because I'm using subframes. I'm using 10 subframes per frame, so that's why you see a tenfold. If my animation is finished, then I set the state property to false. I want the Vikings to start running. After frame 200, the British soldiers will also start walking and eventually run. This is just playing the run animations at the same speed. I'm also using state properties to decide when they need to stop running and start fighting. At frame 525, the agents will lock onto a target and start running towards their target. I choose frame 525 because I want British soldiers to remain in formation as long as possible. Once they are locked onto a target, the formation will break. So frame 525 seemed like a nice moment for the formation to start breaking up. When the agents have locked onto a target, they will also start avoiding each other. When agents are 3 meter apart, I set the state to run attack for Vikings. With this state, the attack animation is scheduled. When agents are one and a half meter from each other, they will stop and the battle animations are scheduled. With the action tag node, I can check if an animation with a certain tag has been scheduled for my target, and based upon that, I can decide which animation to schedule for my agent. When an agent is hit, and an attack animation was scheduled, not a defend, I subtract some value from its strength. When the strength of an agent reaches zero or below, I set the state to dead for that agent, and I make the agent inactive and unlock the target. An agent whose target has been killed will retarget another enemy. If you want to have a look at this file, 
you can purchase the add-on and download this file, including the characters and animations. Thank you for watching this video.